So I was looking at your website and looking at your past work that is, it all seems super connected to the body, like these objects and shapes that are like personified in a way and have mm -hmm. all this personality and like kind of like gesture and movement. And they're very free and playful. And then I'm looking at this work that has such a much more somber feeling. Yeah, I mean, for this work specifically, yeah, there was a conscious like shift, but I actually think like some of the strategies that I used before to hide some of the more serious undertones of the work was to kind of use like this playful, more gestural, um, his formal qualities. But I think when you really look at some of the older work and you start to like look at their posture, look at how gravity is starting to affect to them, like, even though things are like these bright yellows and like these highly saturated colors, all of them have kind of like this weightiness to it. Uh -huh. So it's almost like a facade. Um, with this piece in, in particular, um, I was personally processing a lot of like death. Mm. Um, this is my time in the Bay Area has been my first time away from home. Mm. Um, a huge chunk of my time in the Bay, I was in graduate school. So I had, uh, close family members to me pass away mm. and I wasn't able to fly back to the funeral yeah. and after I graduated um, I'm making trips back to like South Florida hanging out with like um, like my aunts and uncles and other cousins and things like that then like mentioning like oh where's Eddie and then re the gravity of that like hitting right. you know so I wanted to make a piece uh, to kind of like I don't want to say memorialize but just to remember like those who aren't with us now. And then I think during the conception of this piece as well, um, there are a lot of like highly publicized deaths in the Bay Area. Yep. One specifically of Stefan Clark and uh, I believe Sacramento. Yep. And then while installing this show, Niall Wilson passed away on BART or was yep. murdered yep. on BART. So I think. Um, yeah, this, this piece was kind of like my way of trying to like, I don't want to like just process a lot of that going on. Um, I think it's really fascinating. I think you're doing um, a lot of like, I don't want to say like justice, but like, I don't know, it's just like, it's just like interesting <laughs> to me, you know, like, I, I feel like we're living in like a, a time period a lot of people are like, I don't know, like we're dealing with like race and things like that. And for you to make decisions not to depict people that only look like you, just uh, how do you feel when you're depicting people of color in your work? Yeah, I started making the work in a context where it wasn't being looked at by the public. Uh -huh. It was really like very personal, very intimate. And so the questions of representation and me being white were not really even part of what was going on. Because, you know? it, because you were making it more in a private? Yeah. Now, okay. Yeah. And it, you know, it was because like Rory, I met Rory and was, our, both of our lives were transformed in this really deep way that was very inspiring. And I was like painting from that energy. So. Mm -hmm. And then when, you know, when I like got in, into some things, like shows and things, then you know, the projections from the world, like the, the way that the world evaluates a white person mm -hmm. painting black people was a whole other ball game. And what was so interesting to me was that people from like the art world or like educated people, academic people, often had a very different perception of what's going on with who I am, who Rory is, why we're, you know, why these paintings are being made, what's going on. The, the line between what are you doing and this work is great was less between races and more, be more divided between classes. Yeah. So I was like, sense. okay, there's something in here about the way that power and race is understood in these institutions of power that is missing part of the story. Yeah. When I first kind of like entered the work, like I didn't care about who made it, I cared about what was in the image. 
which I think is like kind of like the most important thing, you know? So all of that like other things became like subsidiary and I was just like trying to focus on what is going on <laughs> in the image and trying like, okay, what is trying to be communicated to me? Yeah. Um, and I think after I found out more about your identity, it didn't change the way that I looked at the work. It actually made me a little bit more curious. I was like, that is kind of interesting. <laughs> So along those lines of race and identity and art, do you, have you felt like pressure or to, to like make work about identity in your not, own? Not really. I feel like, I like to think that a lot of my work is kind of ambiguous as to like the subject matter in the work. Yeah. I want people to focus more on the emotional Kind of connection to it so i think a lot of me working with like these anthropomorphic objects yeah. and giving them human feelings is not to look so much at the subject matter but to look at the actual feeling of what's going on you know so yeah. i think even now like i'm super careful about how i uh reference the body in the work most of the time i don't reference the full body anymore so it's always like bodies and parts or like these like anthropomorphic, more ambiguous things to hit at a more visceral emotion right. um, versus focusing so much on the identity because I think like the identity part still creates a lot of divisiveness, yeah. you know? So I just want people to kind of come with their wow. own. You have figured out a way to talk about <laughs> humanity, human bodies, with like deeper than identity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I first got into art, it was just to escape the context of like who I am as a person. Like, I kind of wanted to not exist and like be able to like, you know, just like, like not be somebody else, but be something where like all of this doesn't matter. I was. That's so interesting that you're going to this because this was like. A question I was gonna ask but didn't have time like what was your initial motivation to start making art yeah and to have freedom to have an experience yeah, to of have freedom experience. without projections exactly exactly 